Instant cats. Just add water. <laughs> and they say cats don't like water. <laughs> Let's just sneak on by. Aww. Nothing to see. Home free. Oh, coochie coo. <laughs> this is gonna be a great day. Oh, I jinxed it. Hmm. This bed could use a makeover anyway. <laughs> Remove this wood. Add a panel to the side. Oh, anyone getting dizzy? A fresh coat of paint fixes up everything. All three walls. Let's see what we can do for the outside. A stencil pattern. Let's spread on some paint. Who says we need a brush? Besides, this is much faster. Peel off. On second thought, a brush can take care of the little details. Look, a cat face. As if you didn't guess who this was for. Hmm, this hole looks scratchy. And not the kind cats like. This cat door will help make an easy entrance. And with the help of these toothbrushes, the cats will get the scratches they like. Let's take a quick tour, shall we? This grass carpet will please the wild cat inside your pet. What else can we add? Hmm, an old pizza box? Cover with tape, and you can make a few steps. Steps right to the cat's own private bathroom. Meet the new and improved litter box. Now, what else do cats like? How about this? Take some rope and twist it around a base. Tie it so it's nice and tight. And your cat has a new scratching post. What else? Maybe they'll like that pigeon. Oh, even better. Take a desk drawer. Add pillows, cushions, and some toys. And it's a brand new bed. Here's something we can add to the wall. Now your cats have their own private television. Oh, it's getting hot in here. You know, the cats might want a drink. So, let's give them their own fountain. After all, it's easy to get hot when you can't take off your fur coat. Always smart to try things out before trying on the cats. Now that they have water, they might want something to nibble on, too. And we're going all natural with cat grass. And there's plenty of room for a bowl full of cat chow. But let's keep the fridge stocked with wet food, just in case. Everything's really coming together. Let's add some more toys. <laughs> Well, he's off to Wonderland. What's down there anyway? Ooh, candy. Oh, this bowl should fill up the hole. It's the perfect place for some cat toys. And if the cats are feeling a bit hungry at playtime, this toy's the perfect thing. Just add food. See, they'll get a treat when they spin it around. That'll keep them active. <laughs> hey, can we borrow this pillow? Now take some tights and cut them up. We need an X shape with some material in the middle. Tie each of the two opposite ends together. It's like a bed and swing all in one. Let's test it out. <laughs> You know, these buttons can help get their point across. They can tell us when they want water, food, or even playtime. It's a bit too small to be a staircase. But we can still use the base. 
attached to the wall, and we've got stairs after all. Hey, you're not using this giant bucket, are you? <gasps> Thanks! Huh? Now that we've cleaned it out, we'll cut out an opening. Huh, what else do we need? How about more toys? You can never have enough cat toys. And we can use them for a project. Hot glue them to the patch from earlier. You remember from the hole? Add them to the bottom of our can for a soft cushion. Now break out the power tools. We're drilling some holes. After making a few, run some thread through them. It's kind of like a checkerboard pattern. The cats are gonna be so happy. Where are they anyway? I uh, think you've got a little something there. Oh, that gives me an idea. Add hot glue, press it down, and it's as good as laminated. Perfect for keychains or personalized collars. This cat toy's interactive. Let's add it to our collection. Cats sure have good taste. This looks fun. Cat food? Maybe we should leave some things to the cats. Oh, it's just a toy. And we've got the perfect place for it. You know, it's a little small. We need to think bigger. Let's get a large glass container filled with water. Fill with stones and marbles. Add a plant. And the finishing touch, these cute little fish. I spy with my little eye, well, her eye, eyes, a plastic bottle. Empty it and cut it up. Take the bottom and hot glue some string in the middle. Now use the string to reattach the two pieces. Add a pom-pom to the top and fill with cat chow. Hang it up. More snacks? These are gonna be some lucky cats. Cool, a laser for our cats to catch. Let's try it out. Either it's the laser or she needs to clean her pores. Hard to catch, just what we need. What's on your head? It's like a fidget spinner. Let's add to the wall. What can't be improved with the addition of stickers? These pictures will help give it a more homey feel. Some more toys. Cats sure know how to live. Maybe we can put this tablecloth to better use. As the curtains for our brand new cat hangout. Yeah, this is where all the cool cats come to play. Great place for a nap. You gotta for a big day of sleeping. Still, look at all the fun stuff to do. Eat grass. Use stuffed animals as a floor. Or just relax. Looks like someone's ready to play too. Or maybe just stretch. You gotta love all the accommodations. And there's still so much more to explore. Who needs steps when you have a giant scratching post to climb? Unwind, watch a little TV, have a drink. Oh no, he's found the cats. I mean, what cats? Oh, it's love at first sight. 
Meow horrific stuff. Catch you next time. Well, it looks like we've just stumbled upon the mysterious city of boxes. Hey, sup, kitty? How's it purring? Yeah, these cats sure know how to party. Resting up for a big day of sleeping. Jeez, I wonder how they got those posters in there. Oh, look. There's a pair of little dog boots and balloons? Good. They look like a perfect fit. Perfect for a winter workout. Keeps those little paws mess-free. And looks cute while doing it. Let's try the other one. Cut off the rim of a balloon and add it on. And look, after a walk, the balloon shoes are just as durable. Wow, a donut and a ladle. I wonder what they do. No, wait, that's not a real... Yeah. Well, if you can't eat it, wear it. And it protects your pup from getting lost. Now, how about the other one? A nice big ladle can work just as well. And the best part is, your dog can also help you serve soup. Ah, uh, looks like more things for your pet to wear. But this time, we're going with cats. Make sure Mr. Kitty is nice and secure. Zip up that zipper. Wow. Now your cat can get lost in a good book as you hold it for them. Hmm. Okay, our plan B is going to be wearing this shirt like a pouch. In you go. Now he's got a nice place to relax as you prepare him snacks. Two different brushes for your cat. Because cats deserve nice things. It even catches and releases all that excess fur. <laughs> now it's a wig. Oh, we're gonna add some special touches to this brush. Cool. It's like you made a little homespun scratching post. Oh, you gotta love that the cat does its own brushing. But all that hair? A licking mat? Oh, and it looks like hanging it up is a breeze. Wow, this should also make bath time a lot easier than usual. Maybe the plastic wrap will work too. Even if it goes on your head? Well, this should keep those aliens from reading your thoughts. Oh, good boy. Doggo stays still during a bath and a manicure. That's a whole spa day. A collar that lights up. Now that is a real fashion statement. This'll really step up your dog's laser tag game. And of course, making him easy to spot in the dark. Then again, we can always make this out of glow sticks. Just keep adding them on. And make sure that they fit, and hopefully last a while. And just like that, your pooch is ready for a rave. Our pets have spent a full day of pampering, so let's keep pampering them! 
It's like your cat has a bunch of tiny hands with tiny fingers all at his disposal. Toothbrushes will save on batteries, but the important thing is that the cat's happy. Good idea. But a cat can't spend all day being spoiled. It needs some playtime. What cute little mice. And cool, they come in a lot of colors. Makes you wish that real mice were this fun to play with. But as we all know, a cat's favorite toy is the box it came in. Especially when you get to play with it together. Aww. Oh good, now our canine friends get to join in on the fun. And with tasty treats. Come on, puppy, put your nose to work and find those goodies. Seems like fun, but can we repeat this game with a towel? Just lay the kibble on the towel and then roll it up, like sushi. Seems to work just as well, but you're not sticking the toy in the laundry. Of course, after a treat, your dog needs something to wash it down with. Normally, you shouldn't put water in flowers. It's not nice. But this seems a lot nicer. We made ourselves a fountain. Cool. And would you look at that. He likes it. But can a water bottle be more than enough? Let's try it out. As long as it's secured to the wall. Either way, your puppy gets a nice drink. Yeah, petrific stuff. And thanks to our furry friends who helped out with this video. Catch you next time. Little rich girl. Yeah. Oh yeah. no. What's gonna happen to all her pets? I mean, think of the hamster. All these bristles should make paw cleaning a breeze. And look, it's electric. Just press the button and add water. Just in time, too. Look at those dirty paws. It's like a before and after. Let's fix that. Much better. But let's try out the homemade version. Ew. It's a cup, but what do we do for bristles? Good idea. Don't forget to add water. And by the looks of it, you'll need to power it yourself. It looks like it works just as well.
You'll save quite a bit if you put in some elbow grease. Yes, it's playtime. Bring on the toys. It's like a carrot patch with hidden treasure. Never underestimate a puppy's sense of smell. I sense a pattern. Oh, look under the carrots. Now let's see if we can make our own fun. If you ever wanted to play tic-tac-toe with animals, now you know how. Wait, do you have to eat the treats too? And it looks like we have a winner. And he's such a good sport. Finally, something for the hamsters. Wow, this is like the easiest maze ever. You win, and the prize is hamster snacks. Maybe we can have some fun with this tube too. Ew. Soon we'll have our own little labyrinth. And we can add extensions too. Just keep on eating chips. Speaking of snacks, either way, he's happy with the end result. Next up is a little something special for the cat. Wow! This combines the fun of an avocado with the things cats go nuts for, catnip. This kitty's gonna sleep well tonight. Now, what can we do with this toilet paper roll? First, cut it up into four pieces. Fold them together into a sphere and add a treat inside. And once again, the game begins. Oh, it's not free. It's priceless. Which one will she choose? I would have picked the one for the hamster. Just think of all the leg room. Being carried around, it's the only way to travel. Now it's time to try this giant mm. tote bag. Yes, never underestimate the power of legroom. Just don't make the holes too big or Aww. she'll escape. Wow. And everyone can give your pupper a nice foot rub. Of course, pets need to stay hydrated when you carry them around. And with a few little twists and turns, it becomes a fountain. Maybe we can do the same by cutting it up. Like all our best crafts, it's time to add some fire. Stick in a bottle of water. Loosen the cap and let gravity do its job. Either way, the dogs like it. Scratching posts. Because, like the best of us, cats just know the importance of getting your nails done. Hello. 
Well, it's a good shape, but will it be good for scratching? This yarn should help. After all, it is yarn. And cats kind of have a thing for yarn. Let's just hot glue everything into place. And add a mustache. You know, just to keep things fancy. Good. Those nails are getting quite a workout. With googly eyes and a hat, it's a pretty good deal. But grooming isn't entirely your pet's responsibility. Hmm. These bristles will help clean up your cat's coat. Just in time, too. Ew. With all that hair, we can make a new cat. Yuck. Told ya. Well, we've got the glove, but what about those bristles? Ah, yes, hot glue. Just remember to let it dry. Well, the cat liked it, but it didn't really do anything. The toy cat can keep this. Now your cat can spend hours trying to catch fish. So after teasing him like this, you owe him a nice tuna dinner. Let's see if we can make our own version of this. Besides just letting your cat near a fish tank. Of course, adding catnip sure helps. And now you've got a kitty original to hang on the wall. What a deal! Well, when it comes to your cat's litter box, it's usually for the best to splurge. Cats need their privacy after all. I wonder if they synchronized this in advance. Probably should talk to your vet about this. Ew. Yeah, let's not waste a perfectly good sock. Here's a better idea. Let's make our own private litter box. Cool. Just need to make a door in this shelf. And add litter to the bottom. Now a cat can walk in whenever they need to. Though seriously, I'd really ask your vet about your cat and produce. As always, our animal actors were real professionals. Though the human one really could have learned a thing or two from them. Animal amazing stuff, right? Catch you next time. Oh, look who's here. It's a cute little kitten who lives in a tree. Time for a ride in your basket. Cue the balloons. Ah, flying. It's the only way to travel. The tree kitten has landed. Now let's bundle you up like a little burrito. Let's clean you up. We should start with those ears. This calls for heavy duty stuff. Good thing we've got a fingertip toothbrush. Really get in those whiskers and scrub those messy paws. Almost done. You can dry off and cosplay as a bunny at the same time. 
Meanwhile, we've got a special surprise for you. Huh? Put some holes in this milk carton and add some udders on top. Now it's like he's got his own personal cow. But around here, we go all out for snack time. We've got food, we've got water, we've got buttons. And the piece de resistance, the meat bar. Of course, you might be in the mood for sausages. Who said cats don't like dogs? Especially hot dogs. Now it's time to have some fun with this long tunnel. Add them to some cardboard boxes. Now our tree kitten has his very own tunnel system. After all, why should hamsters have all the fun? Let's add a little personalization while we're at it. There's no doubt what furry friend lives here. Anyone in the mood for tiny billiards? He'll write the great kitty novel on this. What else? Here's an idea. Grab an old t-shirt. Tie up the ends and hang it up. It's a kitty hammock. Throw on some pillows. Now grab a rubber glove. You only need one. Add it around a cup and fill it up with sand. It's great if you want a tiny chair or a moderate-sized hand. Add a reminder of his favorite person and it's time to explore. I told you he liked her. He plays pool by his own rules. Ah, such a bright sunny day for napping. Hey, be careful on top of that. Even if you can land on your feet. Let's have fun with these paw prints. Add epoxy resin. Decorate any way you want and then add them on a chain. It's a friendship bracelet. Well, a necklace at his size. I've heard of a monkey on your shoulder, but this is better. Run some string through a shower glove's fingertips. Our kitty's not the only one with retractable claws. Now we need to blow up a balloon. Well, that works. Make four of these and tie to each of the strings. It's like a baby mobile and a cat toy rolled in one. Cut up some foam around and cardboard. It's a tiny sink, complete with a tiny mirror. We can even cut up a straw to make a faucet. Add a dial. And what's a bathroom without a bath? Uh, gesundheit. Is that rain tinsel? How'd that get up there? Hmm, this tub could use some tinsel and pom-poms. After all, cats don't really do water. What the? I don't think your dolls will miss this garland. Time to see if our kitten likes his new water closet. Probably should powder his nose while we're here. Next up, take a sock and put it on a glass. Fill it up with some soil and seeds. And then, some more soil. We'll need to speed things up a bit. Wrap it up and add googly eyes. Why not? Now that you know how to make it, you'll never run out of delicious cat grass.
This cat house needs a doorway. Now take the bristles off some toothbrushes and add it to the door. Grooming now just takes a few steps. Time to get out an old plastic bottle. Cut off the end. Now add some hot glue in the middle. Reattach with some string and pull out the neck. Now take a ball and attach with some more hot glue. Just pull it down and it pops open. Now add kibble. And behold, your cat can have treats with the flick of a paw. Why not make one for yourself while you're at it? It's the best of both worlds. Your kitty gets a ball to play with and snacks. Mmm, chips. Eh, never mind, at least we got the tube. Tie some jute rope around it. Lasso it up. Add a bunch to the side of one of the boxes. Now your little rock climber can get some exercise. It's also a fun way of going up without stairs. And it's the perfect place for just hanging around. This cute tiny candy ball's the perfect thing for our cute tiny cat. Got something in your throat? Ooh, a fish skeleton. <laughs> Dip it in some paint and decorate the cat's house. That, or just make some fish bone broth. Seaweed in her hair? What, is she a mermaid? Well, it's fish related, so on the box it goes. So tell me, kitty, do you like your new pad? You can just relax and scratch an itch, or go on a little adventure. After all, you're the king of this castle. Who knew that hallways could be so fun? Oh no, he thinks I'm a mouse. Why did I eat all that cheese? He'll be in his equally adorable kitty trailer. Ah, just kidding. This kitty's a real professional. Meow, amazing stuff. Catch you next time. Oh, trash day again. Seems like we did this last week. Uh oh, the raccoons are back. Oh wait, that's no raccoon. Oh, what a cute little puppy. And look, no collar. Good thing you already got this pet backpack on you. Aquariums. They're not just for fish anymore. Huh, there's not a lot of leg room, is there? With a backpack like that, he's ready to go into space. Right out of the case, and he's already got muddy paws. Oh, right, you found him in the trash. Well, a nice warm bath should perk things up. Or don't dogs lick themselves clean? No, wait, that's cats. How cute, a dog brush. And it even has a little place to hold your soap. Rub-a-dub-dub. This must be a dog's favorite type of bath. The kind that doesn't use any water. But it works. Mm-hmm. Good thing. Otherwise, he'd be shaking the water off. And we wouldn't get this tender moment. Wow. He must be clean to be on the furniture clean. And now he gets his own wardrobe, too. Huh, a little big, but maybe he'll grow into it. Oh, wow, wow. look at those nails. Ugh. We need a manicure hmm. stat. Sure, I've seen green nails before, but that was just paint. Why stop at the nails? Let's take care of that fur, too. Mm-hmm. Of course, the most important part of a beauty routine, canine or otherwise, is keeping clean. Cue the foam. Still, no true day of pampering is ever complete without some form of facial mask. 
Ooh. Hmm, what else can we do for our day of indulgence? Oh, good idea, some brushing. With a tongue? I repeat, isn't licking yourself clean more of a cat thing, not a dog thing, or a people thing? At least it seems easy to clean. Ah, now for a massage. Oh, and look, we've got a gadget for that too. First a nice neck rub, and then just work your way down the back. Hmm, does it work on people? Well, I guess you can after all. Though you should probably ask before using it. Mm -hmm. Time for dinner. Good, because I haven't eaten in like a whole hour. Mmm, a nice <laughs> salad. And the puppy gets... Uh, yeah. Just some kibble. And even he doesn't look too yeah. appetized. Maybe hmm. it's all in the presentation. Ooh. Let's cut along the lines. It's just like coloring. And we want some bend to it, so add some tape. Now everything's got a nice shape. But still, we don't want to show off something that looks like cardboard. Gold-colored paint covers hmm. all sins. Ooh. And so do a bunch of fake jewels. Just don't advertise the fake bit. Man, and all this just to host the dog food bowl. Speaking of which, can we jazz up the food here too? Great! Good boy. Look at him eating. All gone. Yes, it's true what they say. You reap what you sow. Wow. I wonder if that dog knows the goose that laid the golden egg. Anyone think they're related? Well, into the drawer. Oh, what's this? Oh, this hmm. looks like a collar. Huh? Just what our four-legged friend needs. But it needs something extra. Rhinestones are nice and all, but we want something personalized. And a photo will help show ownership. Well, looks like he's on a roll. Literally. He's gonna look so handsome with his new collar. Which means that it's the perfect time for a selfie. Give us a smile. Show us some teeth, but not in a show of dominance sort of way. Any other photo ideas? Let's make a fun border. Now pick a theme. Ah yes, the source of all happiness, money. Just don't use the real kind. Though by the looks of things, this new owner can probably afford to. Oh, he'll look so handsome in his portrait. Surrounded by Ooh. money. Just like Scrooge McDuck. Oh. After all this hmm. pampering, it's finally time for our puppy to relax. You better be planning a game of fetch, taking mm -hmm. his ball like that. Oh, wow, mm -hmm. a golden bone. Let's hope it's not real. I mean, you could chip a tooth. Hmm, seems like enough fun for today. Oh. It's time to get ready for bed. Or instead, time for another craft. Hmm, with this mold, we can make a bunch of little jewels of different sizes and colors. Put them all together, and we can make a fun mobile. Like for a baby crib. Just hang it up, and he's fast asleep. Wow, I thought he would need a bedtime story or two. Let's cut back to daytime. Time for a fun dress up. Ooh. And don't worry, just because dogs don't normally wear clothes doesn't mean they can't accessorize. <laughs> mm. Ah, adorable. Huh, he doesn't really seem to be a hat dog. Got anything else he'd like? How about hoodies? Well, the light up buttons have spoken. No, oh, but red is certainly his color. And it looks like he agrees. Just add some chains and some sunglasses, and he'll make Snoop Dogg look like Snoop Cat. Ooh. Let's see what other outfits he'd like to try. A white tuxedo? Does he look like James Bond? 
Hmm, maybe another color will do. Oh, he seems to prefer the more <laughs> classic black look. And it certainly seems to suit him. Oh, he's just so cute. What big eyes he's got. Time for another day of fun with your furry friend. <laughs> what can be better than a puppy? Simple, more than hmm. one puppy. Ooh. And this one's so big, you just want to cuddle him up. And soon, there'll be even more puppies. In the meantime, our blushing bride wants some kibble. And maybe a steak or two. That was bow wow tastic! Yeah, I went there. Catch you next time! Oh, what a pretty kitty! But we'll need those pants. Okay then, how about we split them up? Ooh, these pants need a new job. Take a slice off of this plastic hamper. Wrap the pants around the new rim. Oh, did Bigfoot lose a croc? Even better, it's your new cat bed. Oh, there's nothing sadder than a cat person without a cat. Luckily, it looks like that's about to change. Oh, it's a kitty. And she's so fluffy. Something tells me that's not rain. Whatever it is, it's coming with a chance of kittens. Ooh, are you having a tom or a queen? Two of each? Mommies in the making need lots of love and attention. Especially when they start shedding. Don't worry, our cat brush will fix you right up. This'll catch all that excess hair. And disposal couldn't be easier. Who wants a paw rub? Let's tuck you in and count some white mice. Ah, this curtain just sparks inspiration. From table to fort, a cat fort. Complete with a big fluffy teddy bear. Bring those two bear paws together. And keep them that way. Add a cushion. It's your own little chair in your own little corner. Wow, construction's thirsty work, you know. No, but save some water. It's just what our toilet water dish needs. So fresh and clean, you'll want to sip for yourself. Don't forget some TP, always comes in handy. After all, accidents do happen. Some kibble will pair great with all this water. Oh, there's a prize. Oh, we found Nemo. Of course, every fish needs a bowl. Why not add a little island in the middle? Just add water, too. Now it's all ready for our robot fish. Round and round they go. Ooh, careful! Oh, I think you broke that brush. No matter, those bristles look all right. Just add some glue and it's a new scratching post. Wow, you sure go through a lot of brushes. <laughs> Ugh, we need to get a litter box in here. 
In the meantime, Ew. it's time for a little 52 pickup. Ew. Looks like she's got an idea. And just in time, too. Start by cutting a little door on the side. Hmm. Maybe something in this old Christmas box will help. No, not this. Not that. Aha! Our tiny Christmas tree. I knew it wasn't such a bad little tree after all. In fact, we'll need a few to cover up the sides. Just lay out the green carpet and a plastic bag. Don't forget to glue it all together. Add some sand, like every litter box needs. Uh, gravity is just not your friend today. But cardboard is far more agreeable. You can make it into all sorts of new things. All it needs is some old Christmas lights. And why not add a pillow at the bottom? I think your bird shedding <laughs> must be catching. Eh, loose feathers means crafting supplies. Add this to a string and add some beads. Let's hang these up like a beaded curtain. And it's the perfect place for all your old gum. We should add a pillow on top. Look, there's even a door! We'll need stairs, unless cats can fly. Ooh, nice pom-pom. Can we borrow it? A few of these will brighten up the doorway. Oh, I think Kitty wants to help. Uh, maybe not. Either way, this broom is just what we needed. Take an empty box and fill it up with a bunch of bristles. Pour a little cement on the bottom. Not too much. We want those bristles sticking out so Kitty can play with them. Uh-oh. Hope we didn't use up all our brooms. Hey, there's something in the plant pot. Oh, it helps you make paw prints. And we've got plenty of paws. <laughs> this is going right in our collage. Ooh, beach balls on tap. Now that's fancy. But let's not forget about all that string either. Wrap it around and glue it into place. Now all we need is something to stand it on. And something sharp. Don't worry, I said we've got them on tap. Cut an opening. It'll help get the ball out. And your kitty cat in. Wow, someone tell that ostrich we found her egg. It looks like it's ready to hatch. Let's help. Ooh, confetti. And a cute baby duck. Sure had a lot of room in there. Mm -hmm. Looks like someone's got a new best friend. Meanwhile, let's have fun with all this laundry. These green tights are just what we needed. Start by folding one into the other. and tie them to these chair legs. You've got a little hammock right in your room. <laughs> hey. So who wants to try it out? Any takers? What happened to our feline friend? Well, at least we've got a sock. So many holes. Let's make some more. 
Take these tubes and add frills toward the end. <laughs> Accessorize, and your kitty friend's got a brand new outfit. Put your paw through, and you're photo ready. Perfect time for a snack break. But first, let's have some fun with the container. We really just need the bottom. It works even better than tracing paper. Draw the outline and then color it in. When you're finished, cut it out. Leave some room to punch a hole in at the top. Now we just need to add some heat. This will shrink things down to size. It's the right size for our new necklace. All dressed up for a nice night at home. <laughs> Your brand new cat home. Let's explore. Wow, those cats know how to live. Guess somebody's got some cat scratch fever. Now that's a bear hug. Time to descend the stairs like you just had a makeover. And there's so many places to cat nap. But I think this is her favorite spot. <laughs> People save baby footprints. Why not do the same for your fur babies? And here comes the fun part. Breaking it all to pieces. Huh, this cat doesn't look like he belongs to anyone. So let's fix that. Make your shirt into a pouch and bring him to your house, which shall henceforth be his house. Cats usually clean themselves, but this looks like a big job. At least skin's easier to clean than fur. This looks like a job for one of our gadgets, a cat brush. And when you're done, look how easy it is to remove the hair, which also makes it easy to use in crafts. After all, cat hair is better as earmuffs than on your couch. Huh? While we're at it, let's do something about those nails. <laughs> but why stop at just cleaning those nails? These clips fit right on. And think of all the money we'll save on polish. <laughs> wow. Lipstick for paws. I would have just called it paw stick. <laughs> Good idea. A massager. You know, it's hard work being a cat. Yeah, you should feel nice and relaxed. Now, how can we make this dinner table more cat friendly? Maybe this cardboard box can help. After all, cats already prefer the box to whatever's inside. And you can do no wrong with some colored tape. Look at all these colors. It's like a rainbow of tape. Ew. With this plastic bowl, we can make a window. If only it was this easy making a window into a bowl. Aww. What else can we add? <gasps> Honestly, I'm not surprised lawns are free. With all that hassle of mowing them, some people might even pay you to take it. Some free clothes just lying around could be useful. Ah, yes, jeans. 
like your skirt, but with legs. Let's stuff it up with some of these other clothes. And tie the legs up together like a pretzel. Our project is almost done. Just add the roof. And a few finishing touches, like these sticky notes. Place them down in a pattern like roof shingles. Oh. Hmm, what else is nice and sticky? Great idea, a sticker. We can personalize our furry friend's new home away from home. Is there <laughs> anything else a cat would like? <gasps> hmm. Hmm? These brushes will make fun self-groomers. What else do cats like? <gasps> clothespins? Do cats like clothespins? Okay, I see where she's going with this. A fish mobile. Furnishing a house has never been so delicious. Oh, and what a lovely picture frame. Excuse us, we're just gonna borrow this, too. Wow, this mat fits inside the frame. What are the odds? And now we have a brand new scratching post. This flower pot has a lot of space. Cut it open, and it's a perfect private makeshift litter box. Oh, water. Cats need water, too, right? Let's add a cat water fountain. Just add water. Wow. It looks like our fish mobile is yeah. getting nice and pungent. Do you have anything else we could add? These beads could add just the right touch. Let's just run some thread through them. This would make a great friendship bracelet. Wow! But now, tie up the excess string and cut. This way, it ends in a little pom-pom. Make different sizes for your new beaded <laughs> curtains. Next, let's cut up a hole in this stool. Add a plate right on top. And with the help of these silicone molds, we can fill it up with the best custom-made snacks. And just think of all these different flavors. Got that look in her eyes. She's got ideas Ooh. for this traffic cone. We'll need to cut up this plastic bottle and add hot glue. Add some around the rim to soften things up. Add to the cone. And fill it up with even more cat treats. <laughs> of course, what's a cat house without a ball of yarn? Except we are going to use it for our next craft. I wonder if this girl's ever played Cat's Cradle. I feel like it'd be right up her alley. Oh, these plush toys would be great for that net we just made. Of course, you can't have much of a cat house without a cat. Let's see how he likes it. Does he love it or does he love it? A free hat? Well, these wonders never cease. He's having a lot of fun looking at stuff. And would you look at that? He's potty trained with an actual pot. Now to kick back with a nice snack. Some more snacks. The only thing better than having a cat is being a cat. Meow, amazing stuff. Catch you next time.
Aw, what a cute little wiener pup. And they blow up so fast, don't they? Still, this pupper could use some fur. Now she's a real dog. Thank you, Blue Fairy. And she's got a surprise. More puppies are on the way. Good thing she went to vet school. Cause it's time for a sonogram. Oh, look, someone's having triplets. Which means you're eating for four now. Well, that just proves my point. Good thing we've got our handy dandy pooper scooper. Just look at that face. He's so happy to help. Oh, me so full. But me could always eat one more. Puppy owners need to keep up their strength, too. And if she can get a treat, too, she won't complain. Though you're kind of getting a little messy. Don't worry. This hula hoop will help. Of course, a little water's just common sense. Let's dry you off. And just in time for a little <laughs> costume change. Sometimes you just need a random dance break. But we could do without all this hair. Some durian fruit should help. Slice in half and add some hot glue. And stick to the wall. Now it's a makeshift scratching post. One that will keep all that hair in one place. Of course, we want puppies to have a little fur. Oh no, and you didn't even overwater it. It's simple. Our pup needs a secret garden all her own. Ooh, let's add treats our dog will appreciate. Eh, maybe make sure they get in the hole. Come on, girl. It's time to look for buried treasure. And maybe you should try trimming them. Uh-oh. Someone got into some paint. Still, these are some nice paw prints. Cut them out and shrink them in the oven. Now that's what I call puppy size. And they're your collar's crowning glory. Ooh, are the sheep visiting? Wait, no, someone's teething. Don't worry, we'll give you something to chew on. Stuff up some tights. And we mean plural. Now staple them up together. Well, this should give us a hand. You know, there's always time for a manicure. Now, you've got the best seat in the house. Hot dog. That is one big sausage. You know, bread's not the only thing that can be a soup bowl. Besides, she likes her ramen to have extra meat. And there's plenty to go around. Okay, we really need to start cleaning under here more often. Or at least keep better track of our tennis balls. With a little needling, keep them on a string. <laughs> In fact, this works for all sorts of things. Hang them up. It's like a party in a cube. 
Of course, all good parties need snacks. Now for the big unveiling. It's like a puppy playroom. The piece de resistance. The tennis ball. Oh, she's gonna sleep good tonight. Silly puppy, that's for drinking. Uh, sort of. Good thing it comes in fun size. Press the button and fill her up. Have a drink. And when you're done, how about some TP? Ooh, a watermelon. Let's slice it up. Well, that's one way to do it. Still, we'll need a few more cuts. Now it's time to scoop out the good stuff. But first, we're gonna need the rind. With some eyes and ears, it's a puppy! Hmm. As for the red stuff, let's get out the cookie cutter and make some fun shapes. With all these animals, it's our very own zoo. Now, one for me, one for you. It's selfie time. Well, that's not going on the fridge. Don't worry, all you need is some handy dandy cardboard. Time to put those art classes to work. All that green can only mean one thing. It's a dinosaur! Well, almost. We still need a head. And we've got just the right one. Perfect. You can be anything. The limit's your imagination. Sometimes puppies need help communicating. But all you need are just a few buttons. Now your dog can let you know what it needs. Whether it's playtime. Or just a drink. Or even a little pampering. After all, it's hard work being this cute all the time. Now it's time for a massage. Or, as she calls it, a belly rub. Well, I guess your photo needs a new frame. Better yet, let's get a document folder. Now you can finally give your photos an outline. Like you're in your very own cartoon. Huh, that's an idea. We'll just need a projector. Tape it on. Add some light. And enjoy the show. This is just what the wall needs. Go grab some paint. And put those tracing skills to work. A pacifier? Oh, that gives me an idea. Hmm. It just needs another cut. And we can add a Scooby snack inside. Let's add a decoration while we're at it. Oh, now she's giving us a smile. Is anyone else feeling dizzy? Oh, it's laundry day. Hmm. I guess those jeans were dry clean only. Well, at least we know someone they'll fit. Something tells me this happens a lot on laundry day. Well, now they're two of a kind. You know, you should really take turns. 
don't forget, she's got an audition for a kibble commercial in an hour. So, when can we expect the puppies? Bow wow-tastic stuff. Catch you next time. All the things you can find underwater. Looks like we've got lost cargo. Let's take it up to the surface. Ah, fresh air. We can analyze it at home. Won't need these goggles for a while. Please keep an eye on them, Cookie. It's an electric pair of wings. We just need to add another wing. And make sure everything's plugged in. Let's take them out for a spin. It's a nice breeze, for starters. And they really light up the night. Ah, don't worry, Cookie. We didn't forget you. Just start with an old metal hanger. And unwind the coil at the top. Now we'll need to bend it into shape. Something like a B shape. Now, we'll need to hook up some batteries. Take this wire and wind it around the shape. Now we're gonna need two of these wings. Ready for your maiden voyage, Cookie? But first, let's turn on the lights. Now you're our own little firefly. Okay, what's next? Oh, this device hooks up to your phone. Let's hook it up. Well, the video works. Huh, it looks like a smart ear cleaner. Just need to turn on the light. And give my ears a quick checkup. Uh, I wonder if I could see my brain. Hmm, where else could this fit? Ah, I didn't expect this much fuzz. Don't be shy, Cookie. You're next. This'll give us a closer look inside your fur. Ugh, someone needs a flea dip. What's next? A smoke bubble gun? I wonder what it does. Well, first, let's get some batteries. Time to press that button. But now we're gonna need some soap solution. Give the device a quick dip. Wow, now that's a bubble. Now I'm gonna make a quick switch and try out the smoke tank. Press the button, and we've got smoke-filled bubbles. Oh, smoking! Let's make a bunch. And if they pop, we can always make more. Hmm, maybe I should open a window. But first, Let's see how long we can make it last. Sorry, Cookie. Hey, 
Who's up for a little catch? Next, a foot? Oh, a sock. A magnetic sock. Maybe I should try it on. Oh, I see. They always hold hands. It's cute, but I want to go for a walk. Eh, you just can't break up a set. I guess everyone's got magnetic socks these days. And this teddy's got some familiar-looking arms. Let's take out some of this stuffing and add some magnets instead. Roll them inside and try them out. Now every sock can be magnetic. Aw, it's like a little family. Ooh, they're just cookie size. Okay, Cookie, gimme paw. Good boy. A tattoo printer? Well, let's roll it on. Not bad. It washes off, right? Okay, when it comes to any printer, you better have ink cartridges handy. Of course, a battery doesn't hurt either. Now let's turn it on. And get your skin ready with a little primer. So, Cookie, got any requests? Just connect to the printer with your phone. Now, pick a design you like. I'll just let it load and press this button. Ah, corgis. Now that's fancy. A rose. Always a classic. Hmm, let's test these tattoos out. Let's see. Smudge proof? Now try water. Well, these tats are still standing. Guess I won't need this tattoo sleeve. Which gives me an idea. Now Cookie can join in on the fun. It's a tight squeeze, but he makes it work. I'm kind of surprised this box fit. Ooh, creepy crawlies are coming out tonight. Careful where you step, Cookie. Actually, they're kind of cute. Soft too, and really stretchy. And just watch them scale the wall. I wonder if we should race these little guys. Eh, it's plenty fun just to watch them. And the best part, they make Cookie feel like a giant. Come on, Cookie, it's time for some arts and crafts. Who needs a paintbrush when you've got paws? Let's fill up that canvas. But for those of us without paws, a smart pen can come in handy. I just need to make sure it's got a secure connection. Now grab my notebook. 
whatever I draw also pops up on my phone. To every last detail. Now you don't need to scan your drawings. Anyone up for a little tic-tac-toe? Okay, Cookie, pick a square. And I'll fill it in for you. Oh, one maneuver after another. Things are really getting neck and neck. And Cookie, you are the winner. Huh, I never had a chance. Ooh, this one's on a roll. It's a smoothie bottle. Press the button for a quick blend. And it comes with a magnetic charger. I just need to hook it up. And let the magnet do its thing. But I kind of want to see what makes it tick. And I could go for a smoothie, too. Just need some nice fresh fruit. And some cream wouldn't hurt either. Let's fill it to the brim and get blending. Also works great for water with a hint of citrus. Or grape. Or whatever fruit you like. Looks like the smoothie's ready. Now it's time for the big taste test. Want a taste cookie? Well, that's okay. More for me. I think your phone needs a tissue. Or maybe a full body wash. Some ointment and a new bikini can make a world of difference. Think we'll get boot-shaped sand doing this? Uh, guess not. This should help us make some cool shapes. You just can't go wrong with ducks. Let's make our own little flock. Let's see. I'll call that one Donald and that one Daisy. Look at all this trash. Doesn't anyone give a hoot anymore? Don't worry. These pants will save the day. We can store all this garbage in our secret compartment. Now we can repurpose them all for various crafts. Or just throw them away in the right trash receptacle. Enjoy your trip. Wow, he really makes an impression. In fact, it's so nice, let's save it for posterity. Let it dry. Hmm, well, I think it's got character. Probably should get the sand out of its nose. Add some clothes, and we've got the perfect buddy to watch our stuff. Think we'll find any buried treasure? Well, there's something down there. And this tool will help us really get digging. Wow, a phone! Does it have any bars? An iron. Just think of all the grilled cheese we can make. A rainbow huggy wuggy. Now that's what I call treasure. Looks like the tide's coming in. Say goodbye to those flip-flops. They belong to the sea now. Don't worry, we can make new ones. This balloon even gets your right size. Not only is it a custom fit, we can give it a custom design too. Now show off your brand new slippers. 
Just be careful around the water. Ah, when nature calls in the great outdoors. Guess we'll have to dig ourselves a bathroom. We'll need to keep it sturdy. And we don't want to leave it there. I wonder what he's going to use for TP. Let's keep that lid on tight, shall we? Oh, look at all these balloons! And they're inflating! And falling! All at once! Well, it popped, but there's plenty more where that came from. What are you waiting for? Time to get popping! When it rains, it pours around here. If only that were rain. Let's make some protection from the elements. Carve out a watermelon shell. Make holes for your eyes and nose. And you've made a helmet. Why not make one for your furry friend? And this is why you should always remember to add sunblock. Some moisturizer can go a long way, too. Maybe this roller can help smooth things over. It'll take care of all that dead skin without having to buy special fish. A good idea is always worth sharing. Nothing like chocolate at the beach. Or anywhere, really. Come on, it's chocolate. Wow, he's like a turtle on his back. Sand's malleable, so we can make some room. Add a towel to keep things comfortable. What's the bigger concern? The sunburn or the octopus? Look at all those colors. Let's share it with the world. Place them all inside a bag and then close it up tight. Don't just poke it. We really want to squish them. We'll need the heavy stuff. Bring out the mallet. Now you can beat the heat. See, we came back to the sunburn. Oh, there's got to be a less messy way of eating watermelon. And now there is. This utensil not only helps cube the melon for you, you can use the fork to eat it too. Or you can save the cubes for later. For stacking. Ouch! Oh no! Your poor phone! Where's a bag of rice when you need it? Better yet, get out some waterproof cards. Lay them out into the water. See? They're perfectly fine when wet. Wow. Now take some tape and align them together. It's like a little pool floaty for your phone. Or your sandwich. You can never be too careful on a hot day. I'd say be careful, but free sunscreens, free sunscreen. Here's a way to practice your drawing skills. Let it settle for a little while. And you've got a twist on temp tattoos. Just make sure you'll tan, not burn. No wonder some people are really into shoes. Next time, try these invisible beach shoes. Just peel it off and add to your soul. They'll protect you while keeping your feet free. Never fear blocks again. But some things need something a little sturdier. Is it too bright outside? Before considering living underground, try this. 
Take a plastic knife and add some heat. Bend it into place and add another knife. You'll have a nifty pair of sunglasses. So, did the butler do it? Probably shouldn't have skipped that pedicure. Don't worry, Mother Nature will provide. These quail eggs won't just hide your dirty nails. They'll help make them look brand new. Let's return the favor and give the quails some eggs back. Each credible stuff. Catch you next time. It all started with the cherry flavored lipstick. Look, mom's got a surprise for you. A kitty. What can be better than a flesh and blood friend? A magic Barbie. That's what. Let's go party. But first, what do we have here? Oh no! Who would toss some perfectly good legs? Don't worry, they're not alive. So, let's use them for arts and crafts. Also a great way to save on stockings. But she's got a better idea. Make three and add some glass on top. It's a table. Oh, look what's over here. Roll it down. These walls are in need of a makeover. What can we use? Oh, a candy wrapper. And the best part, it's already plenty sticky. Smooth it out. We're gonna need more candy. Wow, everything looks great. Well, the room. I think you deserve a makeover too. Uh-oh, talk about losing face. I guess this doll's starting from scratch. Okay, start by filling up these shapes. Barbie can do this blindfolded. After all, she's Barbie. Now let's try it out. Much better. Next up, let's cut up some sponges. Make any shape you like. Oh, a heart. Add some paint on top. And start stamping on the wall. Make sure to get all four walls. Meanwhile, let's check in on our human friends. Well, her trash is another doll's treasure. It's not much of a hula hoop, but let's add some tights. Wrap them around to bring it together. The four legs should be hanging down. Now tie them to the other end. Add more so it looks like a dream catcher. We just need something to hang it from. Almost done. Now it's the best seat in the house. Hey, what's in your hair? Ooh, a spring spiral. Let's hang a bunch of these too. Hey, watch out. Ooh, look, a wheel! <laughs> la, 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 la. Uh. And a paint roller. It's still wet. <laughs> How about we paint this box? <laughs> What's next? Uh? Old noodles? <laughs> well, maybe we can use the plate. <laughs> Give it a clean new look. And we've got wheels. But the decorating doesn't have to stop there. Still, nothing beats a little name branding. And look who's coming for a visit. It's Ken. 
and he's a mess. Well, he's in the right place. Let's get you a new face while we're at it. Ooh, clown. Hmm. Still, let's try the mustache one. Unibrows are due for a comeback. Oh, wait, I'm thinking of unicorns. I guess you just can't beat a classic. Whoa! Oh, is your Barbie Jeep for sale? A Ken dollar should cover this. Don't spend it all in one place. Look, Ken gave you his number. Hi, Ken. What the? Let's try again. I think we're gonna need a new phone. Okay, cut a cat shape out of cardboard. Hot glue some cardboard on the side. Now add a cover on top. Let's add color. Pink, it's kind of her thing. And some purple on the side. Looking good, but our phone still needs a keyboard. Ooh, it's a Hello Kitty phone. They gotta stick together. Hi, Ken. Let's get ready for that ride. Wait, what happened to your shoes? It's worse than I thought. Flat feet! And your shoes don't fit anymore. Well, it's okay. We can always make more. This glass jar should help. Clean it off. Now cover it up with some tape. Add spray foam. Wait for it to dry. Okay, let's trim it down to size. Now we're gonna need a file. Great, now use it on the shoe. Time to add some pink paint. We're ready for a big adventure. What's this? Oh, the beach. I know, take some cardboard and use it to make a window. Let's add some shutters on the sides and hang it up on the wall. Slide that beach photo inside. Huh, an ocean view at no additional cost. Next up, take a plastic bowl and start stacking. We'll need a few. Wow, we're making a whole column. Now take some paper and cut it up. Make some frills and put it on the top. We're gonna need a bunch of these. We've got ourselves a palm tree. Ooh, your dress is a mess. Let's cut out those stains. Okay, that didn't help much. It's time to get the rubbish bin. But we're not tossing this dress. The bin's our new accessory. Now grab some colored material and stick it inside the holes. It's like a Thule ruffled skirt. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> oh no, what's going on now? 
It's trash day! Dun dun dun! Oh, come on, at least sort your plastics. Oh, Barbie will always be there for you. What a happy ending! Now, where's Ken with our car? Ooh, someone's got a new fish! So, let's make a new aquarium. Add some seaweed. And a lot of water. Now, welcome to your new home! Oh, what's going on here? Ah, I see! We're painting with a balloon! And making dandelion shapes! Oh, your doll's gonna love this! Wow! Next up, we're gonna need some tights. Fill it up with stuffing. Also, get stuffing. Tie it up, and your doll's got a brand new bed. <laughs> Let's tuck her in for a good night's sleep. Ooh, a candy toilet! This is a candy toilet, right? Well, if you really need a bathroom, I'm sure we can whip something up. Make it nice and soft and add some laundry gel. Whoops, almost forgot the most important part. And its name is toilet paper. Oops. Just need to roll up a few squares. Cut them up for a bunch of rolls. These are going on the rack. Time for a walk. Oh, forgot the stairs. Let's start with an old paper stand. Make some slices and add some steps. Look, it fits right in the holes. Now for some color. And glitter. Why don't you step right up? Uh, that's enough walking for now. We could clean up all this goop. But it's more fun to scoop it up and make it into dino shapes. Now that we've got them in shape, some glue will help them keep it. Let's add a little something on top. For your new mini table. Fancy tea set sold separately. Mm -hmm. Wow! Oh, ice cream! Make sure to save the container. We can add some earring studs on the side. Add a white cover, and it's a bathtub. One complete with a chain and drain. Now for the faucet. And some water. And if you really want to feel fancy, why not add some rose petals? Come on, keep it coming. A paper clip! And with a few twists, it's a new hanger! And when it comes to hangers, you need something for them to hang off of! Not to mention something to hang. Good thing we've got all these clothes around. Dreams do come true! We've got a horse! 
Let's customize. Why, when we're through, it'll be a horse of a different color. Or should I say, colors, the whole rainbow. <laughs> With a few add-ons, it's a rocking unicorn. So let's get rocking and rolling. <laughs> Careful where you step. Oh, your poor socks. Ew. Well, we can make some new footwear. Add some clay and make some slices. Now for some nice faux fur trimmings. Remember, if the shoe fits, wear it. Ooh, it's a brand new television! But first, an ice tray full of animals. Add glue to make some cubes. Give it time to dry, and it's... Our brand new TV stand. And a real icebreaker. <laughs> Next up, take an old wire and bend it into shape. You can make a pretty profile. Add some little lights around it. And you can really light up a room. Ooh, careful, that chair's missing a leg. Some old shoes can fill up the space. And why stop there? Cover it in shoes. It's a great excuse to go shoe shopping. Oh, they don't make shelves like they used to. Here's what to do. Get an empty shampoo bottle. Cut off one of the sides and cover the rest with tissue paper. Some sturdy pieces of nail file will be just the shelves we need. Now cover them up with knickknacks. After all, that's what shelves are for. What a cute little washing machine! And look, a sponge! Let's cut it up! Cover it up with some soft material. And add some legs on the bottom. Now let's add something around the rim. It's a tiny seat for your tiny friends! It's always good to stay hydrated. And if you save your bottle caps, maybe add some toothpicks or sticks. Dip it in some paint. And you've got a new stool. Let's make a whole bunch. Wow, what pretty crystal earrings. If you have a bunch, lie them down and roll them up. Now pour some glitter on top. And hang up your new chandelier. Is that an old valentine? Let's cover it up with pom-poms. and make it a new footrest. <laughs> wow, this place is really coming together. Well, no time like the present for the grand tour. All new stuff, and it's all homemade. And that was just one floor. Sure, maybe the bathroom could use a few walls.
But this shows that with a little imagination and hard work, any place can become your very own dream house. <laughs> Come on, Dolly. Let's go party. It's beach day. Wait, her dress. Well, nothing a little makeover can't fix. Let's put all this sand to good use. <laughs> now add some shells, a skirt, and you're queen of the beach. Wow. Look who's back. You know that dress was sold separately. Hey. Hmm. Okay, there's your problem. A doll's clogging it up. Ew. Ew. So much for the Malibu <laughs> dream toilet. Hmm. Let's clean you up. Starting with these blemishes. We'll need toothpaste, a lot of toothpaste, and glitter. After all, glitter just makes everything better. Barbara's already looking ready for the signature collection. Oh, we need to do something about that hair. Good idea. The shade looks really in right now. And speaking of shaving, let's keep on grooming. All we need is something a little sticky. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> now that's smooth. Sit down and relax. It's time for a manicure. Just like hair, sometimes nails need a little extension. Of course, sometimes less is more. Now for some color. Pink, cause it's kinda her color. <laughs> Why go shoe shopping when you can have shoes custom made? Well, the transparent look worked for Cinderella. But let's add some color. How about yellow? Better yet, yellow with polka dots. <laughs> Just add water to smooth things out. Got any Halloween candy? Save the wrappers. And now she's got some gold lame. Mm, sort of. Now she's practically catwalk ready. Though a new do probably wouldn't hurt either. Some yarn can help. Get out the needle and thread. I guess this doll's going for that platinum blonde look. You can't get hair this soft and thick with conditioner alone. I've heard of tossing cookies, but Skittles? Line them up and add some water. Looks like her new hair is super absorbent. Now Barbara has hair like a rainbow. When it comes to highlights, you just can't pick one. Mmm, blue juice. Wow, it's hot out. Maybe we can provide some shade. Use this bottle cap as a model. And add yarn, so we can make a nice sun hat. Don't forget the rim. Much better. And it's great for some alone time. What else can we make to help? <laughs> make some cuts on an old plastic cup. And we've got some sunglasses. Gotta get those lip exercises in. Come on, baby, we can't skip lip day. Ah, nice and fuller. But let's add some color. Lips are done. Now for the cheeks. Who needs rouge when you've got stickers? Actually, they're great all over. 
She's looking great. Inspiration strikes! Cut a little off your sock. Take the wiring off this clip and wrap it up. Tie it up. Now it's time to bring back that old handle. Can't beat a new handbag, especially ones with candy. But it looks like she needs to take a seat. Take this plastic egg. Add paint and, oh, what else? Ah, glitter! Ooh. Add a leg and it's the perfect chair. Just add a cushion and relax. Oh, popcorn! Must have been hungry. Oh, I guess not. Oh, don't worry, girl. We got you covered. Break a toothbrush and add a little toothpick. And she's got a new broom. Also handy if she wants to play a witch. Huh? What the? Who looks like rain? Take a bowl. Add color. And a handle for a stylish new umbrella. Probably should fix the ceiling, but this works too. Now get out a handkerchief. Probably a clean one. And hot glue a soda bottle cap around it. Cover the cap with fabric. Add some ears on the side and two eyes on top. Draw a little mouth and don't forget the nose. We just need to make a few more adjustments. Soon enough, we've got a cute little cat-faced backpack. Ooh. Don't worry, boy. We've got you covered. We'll make you something to give your girlfriend. And show you care. A nice paper craft. Make some cuts to this piece of paper. It'll help with the folding. It's a lovely rose. Why not make a bouquet? Wrap it up for the proud new mommy. Aww. You know, Barbara was a real professional. She did all her own stunts, even in the stop motion scenes. Doll-tastic stuff. Catch you next time. Ooh, just look at those aquariums. It's a gold mermaid. You sure you want to put your hand in there? Huh. It looks like someone could use a tail. And we've got a volunteer to help us. Now that we've got a mold, step right in. We'll fill it up. And look, it's rainbow colored. Now for some starfish to decorate your top. She's ready to hit the waves. Don't worry, Goldie. We haven't forgotten about you. This will fix up your hair with some sparkly jewels. Now her mane's just as shiny as her tail. Let's fix her hair up, too. Ketchup? Hmm, going for that classic red look, I see. Now we need to comb it in. Wow, she looks great and smells delicious. Anyone else in the mood for french fries? Time for a mermaid manicure. These nails can reach for the stars. It's okay, Red. Nails are just like hair. 
Nothing extensions can't fix. Draw some on with hot glue. And cut them down to size. It's a process. Wow, rainbow nails. Very on brand. Is everything okay? Huh, told you not to mix crab cakes and eel pie. Golden toilet to the rescue. Yeah, you walk that red carpet. Hey, can you lend me some TP? We don't want a line, so let's make another toilet. Wrap some gum around the bottleneck. Add a tank and a seashell. It's for mermaids, after all. Come on, Red. Let's take it for a spin. Ugh, is that fin rot? No, worse, a pimple. Here's something that can help. A fake diamond. Give it a close shave, and we've got sequins. Huh? Try it on. It's a girl's best friend, after all. Ooh, Red's really living up to her name. Save those coffee grinds. It's facial time. You know, it kind of looks like caviar. Grab a sea sponge and wipe it off. Oh, got any fake diamonds left? A round cake? Oh, please, we can do better than that. Cut out a shape, like so, and add a fondant hat. And maybe a few more final touches. Look, it's a me, Mario. But we're not finished yet. Mario's ready to get his groove on. Look at him, mm, chocolate. Oh, you're breaking out. Oh, that gives me an idea. Fill a jelly candy with cream. And cover it up with fondant or marzipan. Now give your candy zit a good squeeze. You can use different colors for the fillings. And squeezing them sure is fun. Wow! But the real fun's in eating them. Oh, look! It's our friend, the candy unicorn! Fill him up with candy. He's part pinata. And press that tail when you want your candy back. Now let's try it out with chocolate. Looks like we're doing it fondue style. Oh, we've got chocolate-covered candies! You can practically taste the magic! Wow, look at all that cotton candy! Just add water and you win a prize. It's a micro-cooler. Fill up the tank. Put it all together and pour yourself a drink. Wow! When it comes to this girl and lollipops, she likes to go big or go home. So let's melt up some caramel candies and pour it up inside this mold. Quick, add a stick before it dries. Wow! You know, that flat side could come in handy. Remember, all the cool lollipops have wrappers. Next up, it's time to try some chewing foam. First, let's see how it tastes.
Now let's get to chewing. And blowing. Guess somebody burst their bubble. Oh, Freddy's seen better days. So has this waffle cone. Let's dip it in chocolate and put the cone back together. Now add some more chocolate. But what else can we add to it? Crumble up some cookies and give it a good roll. You know, with the right touches, it can be a witch's hat. Either way, what's a cone without ice cream? Wow, edible paper! And we've got edible ink, too! Well, what you waiting for? Let's get sketching. I wonder what she's drawing. Ooh, a burger! With all the toppings. Wow. On second thought, maybe we should call it a flatbread. Hey, princess! This time, Mario's got a cake for you! You got a boy! So you win the blue box! Let's see what you've won! Candy! You've hit the jackpot! Oh, hey, watch your step! Ugh, I think it's stuck! Well, I guess if the gummy bear fits, wear it! Now let's dip it inside some pink chocolate. And nonpareils, the glitter of the candy world. Wow. These shoes look good enough to eat. So have a bite. Will you save me a heel? Ah, cotton candy. So fluffy, so delicious, but not so good in water. Hey, what's that? No wonder it's so fluffy. It's full of secrets. Mostly cute animals with squishy bottoms. And it tastes great, too. Wow. Look, Mario, your very own castle. Now he knows what it's like to be a Goomba. Looks like new digs for the gummy worms. How about we make things warm and toasty for you? Wow, that really brought them all together. Let's clean you off. Aw, he's even got the stash. But let's hope he still tastes like a gummy. This doll is all dressed up and ready to go. Ugh, guess I jinxed it. Well, it's okay. I'm sure we can whip something new up. Let's start with a simple wrap for the top. Now for the bottom. Let's make you a skirt. I guess you like the long style. Wow. But if you prefer short, we can fix that. Oh, so many toilets. Good thing there's a plumber in the house. Ugh. How about we start with a clean lollipop? Let's try all three flavors. Now take a lick. And remember, it's okay to double dip. I mean, they're your toilets. Or you can enjoy right from the source. Marshmallows are so yummy. But unfortunately, I don't eat anything with a face. Hey, wait a second. Well, he sure makes for a familiar looking kebab. But after a nice little chocolate bath, 
you wouldn't even recognize him. Our little friends sure do make a nice bouquet. Honestly, a fruit salad has never looked better. Strawberry pencils are already great. But here's a fun way to twist it up. Literally, twist it up with other flavors. Now for a black coating. Some candy rice. Some candy salmon. And it's candy sushi. Slice it up. It's all in the presentation. And enjoy. Mmm, delicious cream filling. Hey, what was that? I think something or someone is under the blanket. Must be Grandma. She's got hand candy. And it's the cream-flavored kind. Looks like there's enough to go around. Whoops, I guess she doesn't think so. Well, do we have a treat for her? Squishy toys are so much fun. Just don't push your luck. Oh, it's okay. We can fill them back up again. Just give them some air. Blow them up. This time, let's use all different candies and sweets. Now for some juice to help wash it all down. Ooh, it's all sealed up. Let's get squishing. Of course, we can't let all those treats go to waste. One of these things is not like the others. That's more like it. They should be safe to bite now. Good thing they aren't jawbreakers. Ooh, bubble gum. This has potential. So, who's up for a little badminton? Gesundheit. Wow, you really are what you eat. Save some sprinkles. Now, melt up some hard candies. And then drizzle it all on top. We need to fill up the mold. Add a stick before it hardens. And you've got a fancy new lollipop. For extra fancy, nothing beats a chocolate dip. But remember, the real secret ingredient is love. Sweet stuff. Catch you next time. Mmm, delicious pancakes. Let's melt some butter on top and pour on some syrup. Now dig in. Huh? What the? The pancakes are a lie! Cases like this are why she became a food doctor. Wow! Just in time to prep this gummy bear for surgery. Give her a little anesthesia. Now make an incision. Our heart transplant is a success. Sorry, we ran out of SpongeBob Band-Aids. <sighs> While you're here, mm -hmm. it's time for a checkup. Congratulations! You're going to be a mommy! Ah, so that's where the little gummy bears come from. Just one? I was kind of hoping for a whole bag full. Oh, thank you, Mr. Ceiling. Look, it's jelly fruits! Ooh, these look nice and juicy. Uh, I don't think that's how you eat them. On second thought, that was fun. Let's do it again. Mm. 
Okay. Now let's get out the heavy artillery. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, you got a little all over your face. Not exactly tasting the rainbow with these Skittles. We could just have a snow day instead. Or we can color them ourselves with edible ink. It's one way to stock up on your favorite color. And you'll have all the colors you need for crafts. Stack up these Skittles in a bottle. Now pour some syrup over them. It eh, should be enough. Don't want it overflowing. Now just give it a squeeze and take a bite. Mm -hmm. Looks like someone wants to keep the candy lips to themselves. Of course, candy goes in the mouth, not out. And if you run out of lipstick, the candy lips have got your back. Just add a little heat. And watch your troubles melt away. Now scoop it up and pour into the empty tube. Close it up and give it some time to cool. Now pucker up and try your new lipstick. Unless, of course, you eat it up first. Arr, there be treasure in that candy. Wow. Look, it's a pair of AirPods. And even better, their container. It'll be perfect for our next idea. Now, get some huh? Nutella. Mm -hmm. And now it's time to fill her up. Soon you'll have delicious chocolate AirPods. They're the perfect shape for dipping sauce, too. Add some sprinkles and extras while we're at it, too. Let's think outside the box for our next treat. Take a balloon and start pumping it up. Yeah, that should be enough. Now it's ready to fill up with candy. There's room for all kinds of snacks in our big, beautiful balloon. Everyone's coming out for this event. Now add some soda to top it off and start stirring. It's a giant lollipop! Wow! Don't forget, we need to pop that balloon. Good thing everything hardened. Now take a lick. How many licks did you reach the center? <laughs> I'm almost scared to ask. Looks like someone needs a moist towelette. Well, on the bright side, it's free Nutella. And really, there's no such thing as too much Nutella. Keep it cool so that it hardens up. Peel your fingers back, unless you want to eat your own hand. Throw on some scoops of ice cream with all the fixings. That's one way to think outside the cone. Wow, these delivery services sure are quick! Look, it's a powder! But it won't be a powder for long. Give it time and it's instant chewing gum. Let's take a closer look at this powder, shall we? Add some water and mix it up into gum. It's great if you're in the mood to see some stretching. Of course, what's the point of chewing gum without the chewing? 
Blow some bubbles while you're at it, too. Let's see, what are you in the mood for? Ooh, slime! And it comes in edible form. Yeah, how else would they know it's sour? Of course, edible or not, slime's also fun to play with. Let's see what we can cook up. Add all sorts mm -hmm. of toppings to our concoction. I'm starting to think we've got more <laughs> toppings than slime. That is some excellent goop. Really good squish ratio. Wow. And just wait till you see how it tastes, too. I guess that's one place to store your lollipops. Looks like we're going for a theme here, too. Hey. This foot even comes with a pair of sneakers. Those are some big shoes to fill, which means more powder. Time to get ready for our next experiment. Go ahead, sample the candy before we start dipping. Never underestimate the importance of uh -huh. dipping sauce. But for the sake of science, let's try pouring instead. Something tells me she really likes green. Now, all the flavors are more or less mixed yeah. together. But it's time for the taste test. I think she likes it. Of course, science is really about trial and error. Maybe we should try less green next time. Mm, so many cupcakes, so little time! Oh no! Have the cupcakes turned against us? No, it's giving you a secret lollipop. I wonder if it's cupcake flavored. And don't forget, there's a surprise inside. Look, it's dipping powder. Close up the cupcake and take it out for a good lick. When it comes to snacks, she really likes the direct approach. Which explains why there's candy in her hair. But let's add it to a hair clip. Makes it more official. In fact, let's decorate all our clips with treats. I think we can fit five little ones on here. It's a fashion statement, and you'll always have a snack on hand. <laughs> Including some treats in disguise. <laughs> Sweet, horrific stuff. Catch you next time. Okay, let's see. Purple wow. stuff. Ooh, milk. Mmm, <laughs> it's like drinking straight from the cow. Of course, if you want to keep it authentic, you're going to need an udder. Or at least a glove. Quick! Don't want you crying over spilled milk! This hot dog's getting all the worse! Mm, almost. Careful! Save some for the sausage! Let's clean you up and give you a helping... nose? Oh, it's a dispenser! Fill it with ketchup. Seal it up nice and tight. Give it a good squeeze. Finally, this hot dog's waited long enough. Now take a bite. Who wants some nice juicy pineapple? You'll notice I didn't say fresh. Be careful where you throw that thing. I told you not to pick from the bottom. Oh. 
Here, Mama has just what you need. Mm. A cute little car that also opens cans. It's all revved up. Let's take it for a spin. Would you look at that? The one time you're supposed to drive in a circle. Grapes. Let's fry it up. Huh, doesn't look too good. I know, some googly eyes will perk things up. And look, you can make him talk. Ew. But if you really want to have breakfast fun, try this dinosaur-shaped waffle maker. Just add batter into each dino shape. You know, a little food coloring can make a big difference. It's ready. Let's start with the Triceratops. Oh, Dino-licious! Someone passed the syrup. Oh, that bread is just within reach. At least we've got them down. Try this bag clip. Sure, it might be rude, but it sure helps put things together. How about we try it on an actual bag? Now let's get back to that bread. Fast food is sometimes food, and this is not one of those times. But we can still whip up a burger. A nice apple bun with a kiwi patty. And some apple fries on the side. Take a bite. It should be juicy. The growing girl needs her milk and dairy. How else could she use this ice cream roll pan? We'll need some chocolate shavings. Candies. Now it's about time we get things rolling. And get chopping while we're at it, too. Can't forget the chocolate sauce. And enjoy. Careful, it's cold. Mmm, rice. Oh, I told you to practice. Wait a second, I think something's inside. This'll help us make some adorable rice balls. Let's start with a cute cat-like shape. Next, we need to add some toppings. Like some dried seaweed. This gives our cat some eyes and ears. Try one. No utensils required. Can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs. I like it a little crunchy, but not like this. Try this instead. It's an egg mold. Just crack an egg inside. And no shells. Close the lid and add to boiling water. Give it time to turn opaque. Not to mention cute. And more importantly, delicious. Mm, delicious lunch. Huh? What the? This burger is a lie. Well, at least it's squishy. And so is this donut. Personally, I prefer cheese pizza, but this is still fun. I'm starting to think that's not chocolate ice cream. 
Okay, let's separate the yolks. Hmm, Ew. looks like we're gonna need some special help. Hey! An egg separator. Just what we needed. Seriously. What you waiting for? Crack an egg! Now let's pour out the whites. Kinda runny, isn't it? Don't forget about all those yolks, either. Hmm. Looks like Oops. you're a little runny, too. You've started a trend. Who's ready to make banana pudding? Not too hard now. Then again, potassium's good for your skin. Next time, let's just use our little sheep friend. After all, he's a banana presser. Add the fruit. And it's all ready in a few shakes of a lamb's tail. Ooh, it kind of looks like string cheese. Either way, tell that sheep it's shaving time. Sorry, he doesn't eat breakfast. More for us. And it's the perfect chance to use our garlic mincer. Forget bite-sized. This goes right to the taste bud. Scoop it out. It's all good to the last drop. Nah. Oh no, he's back and he's still hungry. That's nah. one way to get someone to cut your food for you. Oh, so many nuts. And here we are without a nutcracker. Or even a sugar plum fairy. Wait, I still think we should get one. Oh, thank you, Mr. Ceiling. It may not look like it, but it's our brand new nutcracker. Let's try it out. Push down, and it works. I'd say you've earned yourself a treat. Oh, first a vampire, now a g, -g, -g ghost Quick, someone needs to call Scooby-Doo! What? No, it's just our new gadget, an auto mixer. Swirl these colors around and around. Now this crepe is a work of art. Who wants salad? Let's start by cutting up this cucumber. Okay, we're gonna need some help. And here it is! Ooh, it's a quick slicer! My favorite speed! Add a veggie and the chips start flying. Looks good, but it isn't just for veggies. It's raining cats and dogs, but without the cats. Good morning, you could use a coffee. Well, good thing it's laundry day. Just add some water and powder in our tiny washing machine. Press the button, close the lid, and drain away. Well, this should help perk you up. Wow. And look, it even does laundry too. Just what exactly are you feeding our chickens? Guess it's time to get cracking. Or better yet, let's try out our new eggshell opener. We just need to take a little off the top. Look what's inside. Candy! A unicorn! Unicorn candy! Hey, careful! Don't forget about gravity! That s'more sure is fun, but I'd prefer something edible. But why choose? We've got a marshmallow melter. 
So let's make s'mores. Add a cracker, chocolate, marshmallow, and another cracker. Why not make two? Seal it in nice and tight, cause it's time to bring on the heat. Oh, just look at those marshmallows. Give it time to cool and enjoy. Oh wow, for a second I thought she needed a manicure. Hey, what's that? Ooh, a wiener slicer. Just add the wiener and twist it around. Keep going and soon you'll have a sausage with a spiral cut. Now they're the perfect thing for our breakfast smile. Oh, cheese on toast. So simple, so fragile. Maybe this sandwich cutter will help us. Add some cheese, shred it this time. Let's add some color. How about all of them? Now it's time to get cutting. I guess someone really doesn't like crusts. We're just getting started. Let's press it. And when life gives you cheese, grill it. Yay! No matter what color it is, cheese is always best gooey. <laughs> Hard-boiled eggs are delicious, but peeling them is a different story. Nah. Unless, of course, you've got an egg peeler. Which we do. Good for us. So convenient. Just give the egg a good shake. And look, the peel comes right off. Just like that, it's all ready for dinner. You're supposed to boil the eggs before you crack them, but not anymore. Yes. Take an egg and crack it into the mold. Look, there are shapes on the bottom. those molds in a strainer. Add a lid on top. All that's left is to add some steam. Let it cook and the eggs are practically hard boiled. Just without all those pesky shells to peel. Look at all those shapes. Look, it's a bunny. Something tells me we should follow these paw prints. Wow. Oh, buried treasure! We're gonna need a shovel. Spoon, a shovel spoon! Let's dig. Hmm. What do you think we're gonna find? Oh, look at all these different jewels. They're so colorful and shiny. Uh, this one looks different. Ooh, it's a golden coin. How much is it? It's like a wooden nickel, but without the splinters. Hot dog. Wow. It's a hot dog toaster. Wow. Told you that hot dog tree would pay for itself. Just plop those sausages inside. And look, it'll help toast the buns for you too. Mmm, nice and toasty. Just bring it together and add some ketchup. Or maybe mustard, relish, hmm. cheese, ooh, hot sauce. <laughs> ah, there's nothing like a little retail therapy. You better keep your energy levels up. You never know when you'll spot a bargain. Wow, you must really love carrots. But hey, who am I to judge? Uh, I don't think she's finished. Yeah, vegetables are totally overrated. Now, sausages, <laughs> that's a healthy diet. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna fit. Let's think about this. A hot dog holder, 
That will solve all of our sausage-related problems. It cuts the sausage into bite-sized pieces, perfect for even the smallest mouths. It even has a spot for dipping sauces. Huh, you must have a large appetite. It's called a hot dog holder, but it works on other foods too. The hot dog holder is a wiener. I mean, a winner. Next up, we've got the gadget lasso. Just loop the rope around the wheels and watch the magic happen. It's like you're in a rodeo. Yee-haw, cowboy. But we're not lassoing horses. We're after toys. She doesn't suspect a thing. It's the perfect crime. You know, the gadget lasso definitely roped us in. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. This looks interesting. It's a toy washing machine. Let's try it out. Got any dirty laundry? Ugh, that's nasty. Come on, this is a family show. Anything else? Oh, come on. Do you even wear sneakers? We wanted to try it out, not give it an impossible challenge. Okay, let's power this bad boy up. Just look at it go. Actually, I'm getting dizzy. Oh, it's ready. Okay, that was unexpected. Well, at least your dolls have clean underwear. The toy washing machine didn't exactly clean up. Whoa, that's a giant cookie. Oh, it's a coffee mug warmer. I totally knew that. This clever cookie plugs in via USB, so you can connect it to your laptop. Now let's warm up that mug of coffee. That's a pretty fancy mug. Now you're just showing off. What the clock? A giant chicken? Yeah, that wasn't suspicious. Oh, I have an excellent idea. It's the question everyone wants to know. Can the mug warmer cook an egg? Followed by, why are we even doing this? The mug warmer is great for getting your drinks warm and making snacks. Mmm, that looks good. The ice cream fan will help keep you cool. Just don't lick it, no matter how tempting it looks. Don't you just love the feeling of the wind in your hair? Let's see how powerful it is. I suppose that's one way to get out of the test. The ice cream fan isn't just cool, it's ice cold! Hmm, this looks interesting. It's a boxing hmm. reflex ball. Now you can dip, duck, and dive just like a heavyweight. Wow, you're taking this pretty seriously. What a shot! Oh, right in the face. Yeah, that had to hurt. So, uh, that went well. Cleaning is also good cardio. That's better. The boxing reflex ball is a knockout. This might seem like a normal piece of cutlery, but it's actually mm. a telescopic fork. Mm. Huh? Well, that's a little disappointing. But the telescopic fork means you can snatch food from a safe distance. That sausage is ours, Grandma. Back off. And if you've got an itch, just grab the fork. It hits all the right spots. Looks like you've got a nibble. Okay, there's no need to be shellfish. Share the sand grabber with the rest of us. Da 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 da. Oh yeah, I love that shark movie. Looks like cake is the catch of the day. Mm. Oh. She spotted something else. It doesn't matter if it's up high. We've got a lobster. More cake? Oh, it's not real. Life's a beach with a sand grabber. Notes are a great way to remember things. I'm guessing you're really forgetful. That's a lot of paper. Come on, think of the rainforests. Make Mother Nature proud with these dry erase sticky notes. They work just like regular sticky notes. Just write your message on it. Oh yeah, thanks for reminding me. I have a mountain of dirty plates. Then just stick the note somewhere you'll see it. Hey, do you want to wash my dishes too? Please? Well, it was worth a try. 
Now you can just wipe the note clean. It's ready to be used again. It can be used over and over again. Pretty neat, huh? Uh, you might need an alarm clock for this one. It's time to raid the goodies basket again. Oh wow, this looks cool. It's a mini home cinema. I hate horror movies. Oh, it's just you. <laughs> I got a fright. Fold the screen back and place your phone on the stand. Now all we need is some tasty popcorn. Wow, it's like you can read my mind. But it's kind of small. I don't see how that's going to help. Whoa, okay, I take it back. The mini home cinema is a box office hit. Now, where's my popcorn? What a cute unicorn. Oh, it's a squishy pen. It's soft, fun, and a great stress reliever, which is handy. That's one huge test. Good luck with that. I'd start squeezing that unicorn if I were you. I hope that pen has a lot of ink. You're definitely going to need it. Ah, that's better. Just feel that tension melt away. Oh, I love a happy ending. I promised myself I wouldn't get emotional. Uh-oh. Get out the garlic. It's Ototo Gracula. Ah, ah, ah. No, seriously, I mean it. Get out the garlic. This little guy loves it. Place the garlic cloves in the container and let Gracula do his thing. He can crush other things, like your enemies before you. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just kidding. I actually meant things like nuts or ginger. If it can be ground, Gracula's got it covered. It makes cooking quick, easy, and more importantly, fun. And let's be honest, he looks kind of cute too. Oh, hello. Looks like Gracula has an admirer. Uh, there's something I need to tell you. My breath has the same effect. Anyway, Gracula crushes it. Spot anything fun? Huh, what's that? Well, my friend, these are rainbow scratch art notes. With one simple scratch, you can create multicolored art. Wow, that's a masterpiece. What's that you got there? Oh, nice. It's a cute hook. We don't need this anymore. Goodbye, boring hook. Anytime there's pressure on the hook, a cute little character pops out. Oh, I've got a warm, fuzzy feeling inside. I'm hooked. <laughs> A snail soap dispenser. Just what I've always wanted. So that's what's under a snail's shell. Huh, who knew? You learn something new every day. So we've given our snail his slime. Or soap. Let's replace his shell. He's just a slug right now. Ugh, did he just throw up? I'm glad you're washing your hands. The snail soap dispenser is a fun gadget and a cool garden accessory. Things are about to get steamy with this handheld steamer. We need some water. Meh, I didn't like those flowers anyway. Pour the water into the reservoir. And then you're ready to steam. Watch out, creases. Hmm, we need some clothes. Huh? How'd you do that? Seriously, what kind of sorcery is this? Uh, uh, anyway, back to the steamer. Run it over your wrinkled clothes for a smooth finish. That looks therapeutic, like you let off some steam. Ha! Get it? It really does the job. Gadget-tastic stuff. Catch you next time. <laughs> well, would you look at that? Grandma laid an egg. Wow. Well, it sure beats paying those store prices. What? Oh, I think someone's at the door. Who is it? Well, whoever it was, they left their backpack. Let's take it inside. Meanwhile, we also gotta separate these eggs. Mm, gesundheit. Oh, it looks like Mr. Backpack can help. A yolk separator. Yes. Try it out. Just crack an egg on top. Now it's time to get things running. 
Pour out those yolks. We're making meringues. Mmm, corn. Time to sink your teeth in. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Well, it's okay. Make like a banana and peel that corn. I wonder what else it can peel. Give it a good squeeze. Oh no! Your glasses! And you can't see a thing without your glasses! When did that pigeon get in here? Oh wait, that's no bird! It's a gravy boat! But it's not just for gravy! Add that lemon! We've got juice! Now perk up that tea! Mmm, good to the last drop! Huh, maybe we should have started with donut holes. Or maybe we just need the right tool. Good thing we still got all this batter. Give it a push and the donuts just plop out. Flip them over once they're golden brown. They're ready. Once it cools, take a bite. Of course, we can't forget about <laughs> topics. Especially sprinkles. This carrot needs some tenderizing. Or better yet, mashing. Add some inside. And squeeze until it comes out like Play-Doh. Try this on all your favorite veggies. But the real fun comes next. Getting to eat. <laughs> Careful, stay inside the bowl. The bowl. Okay, that whisk isn't cutting it. Or whisking it. This sauce stirs great for a hands-off experience. Just make sure to keep an eye on it. Now you've got a date with some sauce. Meanwhile, let's catch up on some knitting. It's time to grate some cheese. Careful. Little more. Huh, barely made a dent in those hot dogs. Oh my god! Don't worry, we can always try a little hand guard. Now you can grate anything you want. Granted, not everything needs to be grated. Gummy worms should be eaten al dente. Mmm, noodles! And we've got oodles! You know, it's even more fun to eat it. Uh oh What a tangled web she weaves. This looks like a job for our T-Rex chopsticks. It's a utensil that works on both ends. Great for those hard to reach bites. First Jack Horner in that pie, now this. If you're gonna stick your thumb in food, you're gonna need some help. It's slicing with a hands-on approach. And it'll let you tackle the whole produce aisle. Now everyone will want to peel potatoes. Who needs a green thumb when we've got orange? Just don't forget to eat the food when you're done. Wow, I never saw cookie dough leak before. It's not a hair dryer, it's a cookie press. 
Add whatever cookie cutter design you like. Just press. And pretty soon, we've got cookies. Look, it can be as easy as stamping. And I think we've got some left over, too. Ah, bread and butter. So simple, and yet so good. No wonder Madeline eats it every day. If only the butter could actually spread. Luckily, butter lipstick runs smooth. Well, that'll wet your whistle. But let's save some for the toast. Get into every nook and cranny. Nah. Now let's try some English muffins. Ooh, and a bagel. <laughs> Time to drain the pasta. Ooh, whoops. Oh, uh, so Ew. who wants pizza? Come on. Oh, wait. Hey. Maybe this pasta strainer can help. Just add to the side and pour. The pasta's safe and sound. And I've got a great sauce recipe. Ooh, Grandma's mastered the whisk. Just in time for her special cookie recipe. Of course, right now it's in more of a pancake stage. But that's nothing <laughs> our cookie stamp press can't fix. Wow. And look at all the different stamps. Now into the oven they go. Why not take a bite? Ah, cookies. So good, you can't stop at just one. Some foods mouth-watering. Onions aim for the eyes. Wow, that's pungent. Good thing she's in the shower. Apparently, it's okay. Rubber duckies got your back. A new pair of glasses is all you needed. Wow! They'll protect your eyes from watering. So get shopping! <laughs> hey, it is tea time. Oh, that's too hot. Let's try something cool. Take this silicone mold and fill it up with tea bags. Now, if we want to make ice, we're going to need some water. Wow! Gotta love any excuse to use a funnel. Now stick it in the freezer and give it time. Okay, that should be enough time. Let's take these tea spheres out for a spin. Yay! No, not like that. Add it to the water for a brand new twist on iced tea. This'll go great with some green tea ice cream. Grandma Marvelous stuff. Catch you next time. 